Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're going to be sewing up the True Beauty dress and this time I'm doing the handkerchief uh, style skirt. So let's get started. All right, so I love this pattern. It is super cute, super flattering. And the fact that it's got this handkerchief skirt, it is so cool and it really is super easy to sew. So let's start by sewing our sleeves on. So I've got my bodice front and I'm laying it out on my mat and I do have short sleeves today. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that arm side of your sleeve and put it right on top of your arm side on your bodice. Now. Um, if you are having a hard time trying to figure out which side is your arm side, usually if you place it right in front of your top, it kind of gives you the same shape as your top, um, then that will help you. If not, I always keep my pattern handy just in case and just kind of match it up to my piece and figure out where my front or my arm is so you don't sew it the wrong way. Especially with short sleeves, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. So right sides together, I am sewing those um, arms, and what I'm going to do, because you all know I like to do everything at once, I'm going to grab and open up my bodice and grab my back and I'm going to put it right upside, upside, right side up and I'm going to place now my other bodice face down. That means that the sleeve, the other end of the sleeve is going to go on each side and then I'll be able to go ahead and sew them all at the same time the back and the front of the sleeve over on my sew machine. I'm actually going to be using my serger, um, but if you don't have a serger, you can use your sewing machine. Just use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine or a stretch thread or something like that. We do have um, tutorials on what, um, what stitches to use, uh, how to sew um, with a, just a sewing machine, a knit on with just a sewing machine. So there's tutorials for that. So you can check that out if that's what you're doing. So let's sew those. While I'm over there, after I sew these, well, never mind. I'll do that in a minute because we're gonna have to sew the sides after this. So let's do that. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and remember which ones are your sleeves and which ones are your is your main bodice. And I'm gonna sew up these raw edges right here at the side seams. So we're gonna sew those side seams together right sides together. All right, once I've sewn those sides together, I'm also gonna go up here at the top and sew that raw edge, just um, finish it off with my uh, serger. You don't have to do that step. Sometimes it helps when you're creating your casing to um, sew that down, that raw edge, because it gives more stability to the fabric, you know, it makes it a little bit thicker with the thread. And then that way, once we go to fold this down, which is our next step, we'll fold this uh, top three quarters of an inch down to create a casing for our elastic, for our shoulders. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and, and finish off that this edge right here over at my sewing machine or with a zigzag stitch in your sewing machine or on the serger. And then I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> it almost went away. And then uh, we're gonna fold it three quarters of an inch down and um, top stitch it down, leaving a two inch gap in the back where you can fit in that elastic through. So I'm gonna go ahead and steam it now and get it ready um, to sew on my, I think I might use my cover stitch or you can use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine, whatever you would like to make that casing. If you want to while you're over there too, you can hem your, um, your sleeves to a half an inch. So now I'm going to grab my elastic and there is a cutting chart on your, um, on your pattern, but you can also just measure your um, shoulder 
and take three inches off and use that as your guide for your elastic for a great fit. Also, I make mine just a tiny bit shorter so I can sit it over my shoulders and then I'm just gonna fit it right through that casing all the way around. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my other side of my elastic and we're going to sew them together. Make sure that they're straight. And I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine to sew that together. Then I can fit it all the way in and go back and close that um, gap that I left open. All right, so if you or well, our bodice is done, and if you're choosing to do straps, you're gonna cut your straps according to the chart measurement on your um, pattern. Then we're gonna fold them right sides together and sew that raw edge. Once we saw that raw edge, we'll turn them around. Let me sew that raw edge really quick and then we'll show you how to attach them. All right, once you've sewn that raw edge, we're gonna flip them around. And I'm gonna steam them. Then I'm gonna grab my bodice and I am going to place them wrong, to the, the right side, to the wrong side of the bodice and pin and then you're gonna come around to the right to the wrong side of the front of the bodice and pin, and then you're gonna tuck it down. Now, the first thing you wanna do is, once you place your um, straps on, you wanna try it on and make sure, you wanna base them on first, and then try it on and make sure that they're exactly where you want them and how long you want them. Like, you know, if you want your bodice to sit higher or whatever, um, before you actually do the real stitching and then you can just stitch them right on top of where you stitched your casing closed So we're done with our bodice except for our clear elastic now you say do I really need to do clear elastic the clear elastic is great for Well, that was a piece that was broke the clear elastic is great for giving the bodice stability Sometimes when you're wearing a dress and the bottom is heavy, it will pull your dress down and it will make it kind of stretched out. Using clear elastic will help with that. So all we wanna do is we wanna have a piece that is as wide as our bodice, plus like about an inch for you to grab onto it. Now I actually just like to keep it, I don't, I don't cut it, I just go ahead and clip it on and start sewing it on because you're not stretching the elastic, you're just attaching the elastic. So I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and use a zigzag stitch and attach the elastic to the inside of my bodice. And then once I sew my, when I'm sewing my skirt to my bodice, I'll enc encase the elastic in my seam allowance. Um, some people, and I've done it before, like to go ahead and, and put this, the clear elastic at the same time as they're sewing their skirt on, their bodice on, and you can do that. Um, but, or you can even use a clear elastic to gather your um, skirt, if you're using the gather skirt, and then it's already in place when you attach it to your bodice. So either one of those will work. But let's go do that. And while I'm doing that, we're gonna also go ahead, I'm doing, like I said earlier, the handkerchief version of the skirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna grab my skirt, and it's kind of big, so it's kind of hard for you to see it really easily but here's where that waist is see the circle right here we're gonna grab that top side both of those top sides I'm just gonna show you on the one side which will be easier and grab the other skirt see it right here that circle area and I'm gonna put that side together the sides together so we're gonna sew our tops I say side but it's really our top together for the two sides So we can do both of those things at the same time. Sew that elastic in and you can sew it in with um, zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. And then also sew this skirt, the two skirt, the front and the back skirt together, right sides together at that top seam. All right, like I said, I'm doing a zigzag stitch. So I'm gonna start off and I'm going to hold my elastic right here at the end. And I'm just gonna go about just a little bit in from my fabric. I'm just gonna be sewing it like right along the edge. Well, I guess I didn't do a zigzag stitch. 
Now we've got a six sex stitch. Again, you are only, um, you're not stretching it, you're just letting it sew on there. All right, so now we're getting right back up to the front. So we're gonna match it up and finish it off. And we can cut off the rest of my elastic. Right there. And finish it off. As you can see, it's right there at the edge of my fabric. Um, you can kind of see the thread right there. I kept it the same color, but when I put the skirt on, when I go to sew the skirt on, I will have, that's my seam allowance right there, my quarter inch. And so my seam allowance, my seam will be, this elastic will be encased in my seam allowance. This is a quarter inch elastic. So you won't even be able to see it. All right, our next step will be to hem our skirt. Um, we are gonna go ahead and open it up. Here's my waist. Um, and we can do, you can start by hemming the, whichever side, if you want the sides or the front or whatever, it doesn't matter. You're just going to go a straight hem and you're going to go steam and straight hem straight down. And then this one's going to just fold right over and hem this way. So you can either, you can do the opposite sides and then the opposite sides, but it doesn't matter if it's the front and the back or the sides first, they're just going to close right on top of each other. So let's do that at a half an inch seam allowance. So, all right, so I'm gonna go hem this, and once I'm done hemming, I'm going over to my sewing machine, and we're going to gather our waist um, to fit our bodice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and quarter it now, match my front and back, and go to the sides, and I don't know where I put my little scissors, here they are, and mark my quarters, because I like to quarter before I gather. That way I know exactly where my quarters are, because when you gather, it throws it off. I'm just gonna do the two basting stitch method, um, where I put two basting stitches right on top of each other and, and gather. And honestly, I should have just gathered with clear elastic because I love gathering with clear elastic. I just didn't really think of it. <laughs> uh, though I did mention it and I did talk to you all about it. And honestly, it's super easy. We do have a video on it. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and just do the two um, basting stitches right on top of each other and do that. So let's hem, let's gather, and then we'll come back to put the bodice and the skirt together and we'll be done. Our skirt is almost finished. Now we're just gonna go ahead and grab our bodice and we're going to go ahead and kind of quarter our bodice. Obviously I have my elastic already on there so if I can do, I don't wanna trim the elastic so I'm just gonna go ahead and use clips and mark my halves. We're almost done. Super excited. This fabric is gorgeous and I can't wait. This is a rib knit from Olga's Closet. Also, what I'm wearing is a fall in love sweater um, with made with Swiss dots. In case y'all are wondering, I always kind of forget to tell you what I'm wearing, and I get the questions often, and I always feel bad because I always forget. All right, so here's my two seams, and it looks like my my skirt is already pretty gathered, but my gathers are not even, so I'm gonna even them out because I want them to have the same amount of gathers on each on all the sides. I don't want it to be like 
really gathered on one side and not gather on the other. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure that they're evened out. And then I can either fit my bodice into my skirt or fit my skirt into my bodice. Either way, what we want to do is we want them right sides together. So I'm just gonna grab my bodice and right sides together. I'm gonna remove one side of these straps since I haven't sewn them yet. And match up the quarter points that I made. So this is my front. Match it up with my front right sides together. And then my side, right sides together. And then in between, just make sure my gathers are even and everything and match them up. Those right sides together. And then go to the other quarters and do the same. And then we'll go over and sew them together. And we'll be done. All right, let's sew it and again, we'll be done. Make sure you even out those gathers. They're not very, they're not gathered a whole lot. So it's not too bad. All right, and my elastic is encased in that seam. So you don't really even feel it because it's inside my seam allowance. And as you can tell, I, I snipped a little bit off of part of it, but that's okay, that's not gonna ruin my dress. It's still encased in there, um, so it should be good. All right, y'all, we are done. All we have left to do is for me to measure out how long I want these straps and how they fit and put them on if I want straps. And then also to remove that basting stitch right there in the waist, but look at how cute this looks. I am super excited for it. I think this is the perfect dress for spring and summer. And then you can, you know, like put a jacket on it or something and make it more fallish. Though these colors are very springy, but that's okay. I love spring, it's my favorite time of the year. So I'm okay with having a spring dress all year long. So I'm removing these basting stitches and we are done. I hope you enjoyed this sewing tutorial. Please come and like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. And also let me know which version of this dress you're gonna make first. Are you going to make the gather skirt or the handkerchief skirt? Please come and share your makes with us on our Facebook and Instagram page so we can be inspired by you and you can also be inspired by other amazing sewists in our group. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!